Hey guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful summer flowers bracelet. It's easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. You helped me so much by asking me questions in the comments and liking and sharing my content. So thank you so much for these actions. Down there in description, you will find the full list of materials linked to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials, mainly on my Facebook and Instagram pages. And another thing I want to tell you is that it is a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't, because in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done, like I have these earrings that I did that match this bracelet, summer flowers earrings, and I'll link to them here at the eye icon to see and also down there in description. If you don't want to listen through this intro every time, you could skip it now because I have timestamps. And another thing, you could check my second channel with the fast clips. Okay guys, now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this sunny flower bracelet are three colors of 11 seed beads, also a clasp and a jump ring. This is monofilament that is 0.006 inches of thickness, which is 0.15 in millimeters. You could use 0.14 or 0.16, it doesn't matter that much. And you could also use Fireline or Wildfire for this project. And here I'm using size 10 beading needle scissors. And these are flat nose pliers that I use to attach my clasp to my work. Okay, so now I'm going to take about two and a half feet of thread on my needle, which is about 75 centimeters and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and I'm going to start my work by picking up 12 of these beautiful dark red metallic beads. Okay, and I double check and I have 12 three times four and I'm going to slide those down. Okay, I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and pull. And now I will go one more time and make one more knot, making sure as I pull that my thread goes between the beads that I started my knot from. And here is what I have. I have this beautiful circle of beads, guys. And what I do now is that I go through some beads in this direction and I'm going to start my next row. And my next row will consist of two orange, one red and two orange beads. Okay. This is what I take and as I exit here through this bead, I go back in circle through the same bead. You see what I do? And I pull. Now I have here a loop between this bead and this newly added five beads. Okay, and I have this. Then what I do guys is that I go through two more beads in this direction. One, two. And I pull and I'm going to take again the same sequence of beads. Two orange, one red, two orange. And again, I'm going back through this bead here. Like this. The same thing. Then I go through two more in this direction. And I'm going to take two, one, two, two orange, one red, and then again two orange beads. And I will go back through this bead, but just to save time, guys, it's a good idea to go also through the next two. And in this way, 
you will save time, you will save one movement. If it's difficult uh, for you, do it one by one, but now I'm showing you uh, with saving one movement. Okay, and now I will show you faster until the end. If you cannot do it, just rewind and repeat these three from here, okay? Okay, and I'm here at my last step. And here, guys, is my knot. That is why I was going one by one through those beads because as I have a knot, this uh, hole is smaller. But I did it anyways, okay? So now I have this flower, the beginning of a flower, I mean. And now, guys, what I want to do is go through the following red. Then I want to go through these two orange beads. Exiting next to the red that's sticking out the most. And I'm going to pick up five yellows. Okay. I have five here. I'm sliding those down like this and I'm pulling. As I'm exiting through this orange, I'm skipping the one in the center and I'm going in the next orange. Like this. Then I take one orange, uh, one red, sorry. And I go here through this orange. Then I take five yellows again. Okay, five. And I go like this. Then I take one red. I go through this one here. Then it's time to take my five. Skip the one at the top and go through the next. And one red and I go here through this orange. The orange that is next to the bead that's sticking out the most. Okay, and I will continue this row faster. Okay guys, and here I am at my last step and pay attention that here you go through this orange. This orange, don't make the mistake to go through the yellow. Sometimes beginners, me including, make this mistake. Okay, if it was too fast for you, just rewind to the first part when I was showing slower and do this. Okay. Now it's time to make my next row and for my next row I'm going through these two yellows. Then I'm going to take three orange beads, skip the one here in the center and pull. And then I'm going to pick up three red beads and I'm going here between those two yellows, or you could remember it by going through the yellow that is closer to the top here. The one just next to the to this that is sticking out the most. Then I'm going to take three orange beads, skip this central one that's sticking out the most, and go through the following 
here is what I do then take three more go here through this one and take three more skip the top and go through this one then again take three but from the dark orange color and go through this yellow here okay i'll show you until the end faster you know if you can't see anything just rewind to the slower part and make it Okay, and pay attention here at my last step. I'm going through this yellow and not through the orange. Okay, now I have this. And in my next step, guys, what I want to do is reach again the dark red beads. And more precisely, I want to go here out of the central dark bead. Or I'm going through two dark red beads in this direction and now I'm exiting through the central one and what I need to do is take three yellows go back like this through this one and you see I have a cross of four beads or also called right angle weave I have a loop between my beads then what I want to do is reach again these three dark red beads. Okay. I'm reaching them, going out of the central one or through two of them. Okay, you see where I am. And I'm going back like this. Okay. I will show you a third time and let you do this by yourself until the end. Okay. Here is what I do. Exit out of the central one. Take three. And go back. And pull. Okay, guys. And I have three more here and i'll do them off camera and i'll be back okay guys and now i'm here at my last step where i'm adding my last three beads from this row and now what i want to do is go in this direction and exit out of this orange now i will make the same element absolutely the same element and i won't make knots and cut my thread the same thing i will repeat uh, this again and i'll be back okay guys so these are the first and the second element of my bracelet and i'm going to show you how to connect them okay my needle is now put on this thread and i will put aside this element for a while and I will start with this one and what I do is that I take two yellow beads then I'm going to take my clasp here as I'm exiting from this orange I'm going through the clasp and I'm sliding it down then I'm going to take two more yellows and I'm going back through this orange like this then I go through the yellow here again through the first of my yellows I take one yellow because I want to make an angle and I'm going through the other yellow and through the clasp and you see when I pull I have this angle here then I'm going through the yellow through the next yellow and I'm gonna be adding one more yellow 
and going like this. Okay. Now, what I want to do, guys, is reinforce this joint. Okay guys, and after I reinforced it, I'm exiting here where I want to make a knot and how I'm making it. I'm making here a loop and I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I'm pulling and I could repeat this knot several more times. But when I'm ready, I'm going through the following seed bead and I'm cutting my thread. Now guys, my first element is ready. But now I will show you how I will attach my second element to it. Okay, I will put my needle here and I'll be back. Now guys, I have my needle on this thread on my second element. Here the thread is cut. Okay, and what I want to do next is exit out of an orange bead. The orange bead that is sticking out the most. Okay, now from this point I want to connect this one to this one but pay attention how i'm connecting it here uh, the opposite bit of where i attached my clasp and how i find the opposite i count from here one two and i'm attaching it to the third uh, orange that is sticking out okay now i take two and as i'm exiting from this orange you see where my thread is I'm going through this one here. Okay, and I pull. Then I take two more. And I'm going back through this orange here. Okay, I have them connected, but I want to do angles here. So I'm going through one of my yellows, taking a yellow, going back here through this one, then again through this one, okay, if you don't see my thread here it is between the two yellows, I take one yellow, and I go back like this. Okay guys, now it's time to reinforce, make a knot like I showed you before and cut my thread. And after that, I will make one more element, attach it and then one more and attach it the same way I'm showing you here. And when I have six or seven elements, depending on the wrist size you're making it for, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and as I continue this process, adding one by one more and more of these beautiful summer flowers, I'm here at my sixth element. I decided to add six of them. And now I will go around and exit here. I just attached this joint here and I will go around and exit here at the orange to attach the jump ring. Okay guys, and I'm exiting here and now what I want to do is take five yellow beads. Okay, I have five of them. 
and I'm going around through this uh, orange. You see, I'm exiting here and I'm going back in circle. Like this. Now I have this and I'm going through the first yellow from this side. Okay, only through this first yellow. I take one yellow and I go through the next bead like this. In this way I'm forming an angle. Now I skip the one at the top and go through the next yellow. In this one, this way I'm forming a second angle and then I'm forming the last third angle. Now you should reinforce this several times. Okay guys, and now I'm going here after the yellow and I want to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going once then I'm going second time through the loop I've made and I pull then what I do is that I go through the following seed bead and I'm cutting my thread then I take this jump ring I open this one up and I put it here inside and I close it Okay, and now guys, my Summer Flowers bracelet is ready. Okay guys, and now my Summer Flowers bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button because in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done. Like I have these earrings matching the bracelet and you could see them here at the eye icon and down there in description. And uh, you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials, mainly on my Facebook and Instagram pages. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye from me.